Chapter 1. The Bicycle. Mike was an 11 years old boy. He was the only son to his parent. His father worked as a carpenter, and his mother was a homemaker. Although Mike's family wasn't a rich one, they lead a happy life. Mike's school was located a mile away from his home. Mike's birthday was coming up in a week. He requested his father to buy him a bicycle so that he can go to school in cycle and not by walk and depend on his father to drop him at school. His father also promised him to buy a bicycle so that he need not walk to school anymore. Mike felt so happy. The birthday boy woke up happily with his mother and father, wishing him with all smiles on his birthday. Mike was feeling very happy and expects that his father would gift him the bicycle. He had a beautiful gift, wrapped nicely in his father's hand and surprised. The father gifted him the parcel, and Mike saw a set of books as the birthday gift from his father. Although he was a little unhappy, as he did not receive the bicycle, he thanked his father. Mike's father was depressed as he did not have enough money to buy a cycle. He promised to his son that he would soon buy him a cycle. After a week, when he was walking, on his way to his home back from school, he saw a boy riding a cycle. Mike felt that the cycle was too small for the big boy. Suddenly, the boy crashed into a post and skidded in the street. Mike rushed to him and recognized him. He was his schoolmate, named Sam. Sam was injured badly, and there was no one near to help him except Mike. Mike helped him stand up, and provided him water. Since Sam was riding the cycle faster, his left leg and hands were severely injured. He asked him to sit in a corner, and took the cycle and rushed to a nearby hospital to get help. An ambulance came and carried Sam to the hospital. He then rushed to Sam's home and informed about the accident to his parent. Sam and his parent thanked Mike for the timely help. Mike in turn thanked, it was all possible, just I had Sam's cycle. Mike also told Sam's parent, cycle is too small for Sam to ride, and that's why he was injured. Sam and Mike became close friends. Mike met Sam every day in hospital until he was discharged. Sam got a new cycle, and he came to know that Mike doesn't earn a cycle. He gave his old cycle to Mike and with Mike's parent permission. Mike accepted the gift from Sam. One deserves from another for their wellness. Chapter 2 The Proud Boy There was once a very proud boy. He always walked through the village with his eyes turned down and his hands in his pockets. The boys used to stare at him and say nothing, and when he was out of sight, they breathed freely. So the proud boy was lonely and would have had no friends out of doors. If it had not been for two stray dogs, the green trees, and a flock of geese upon the common. One day, just by the weaver's cottage, he met the tailor's son. Now the tailor's son made more noise than any other boy in the village, and when he had done anything wrong he stuck to it, and said he didn't care. So the neighbors thought that he was very brave, and would do wonders when he came to be a man, and some of them hoped. He would be a great traveler, and stay long in distant lands. When the tailor's son saw the proud boy, he danced in front of him, and made faces, and provoked him sorely, until at last, the proud boy turned round and suddenly boxed the ears of the tailor's son, and threw his hat into the road. The tailor's son was surprised, and, without waiting to pick up his hat, ran away, and sitting down in the carpenter's yard, cried bitterly. After a few minutes, the proud boy came to him and returned him his hat, saying politely, There is no dust on it, you deserve to have your ears boxed, but I am sorry I was so rude as to throw your hat onto the road. I thought you were proud, said the tailor's son, astonished, I didn't think you'd say that I wouldn't. Perhaps you are not proud? No, I am not. Ah, 
that makes a difference, said the proud boy, still more politely. When you are proud, and have done a foolish thing, you make a point of owning it. But it takes a lot of courage, said the tailor's son. Oh, dear, no, answered the proud boy, it only takes a lot of cowardice not to, and then turning his eyes down again, he softly walked away. Chapter 3 The Broken Horse Tina was a six-years-old cute girl. She is very fond of wooden toys, especially she had a beautiful wood horse. Gifted by her uncle when she was two years old. The wooden horse has been her close pal and her pet. She has a nine years old brother. She went on a vacation to a nature resort in the woods with her family. She carried the wooden horse with her. She enjoyed her holiday with her family in the woods while she was packing things with her brother. As they planned to return home, the wooden horse fallen down and one of the legs were broken. Tina was too sad and silently cried for her horse. She was very upset. They packed all things and left the woods. Entire family tried to cheer up the sweet little girl. But Tina was so silent, very upset. Tina's brother tried to console her a lot. They had a break for lunch, and Tina refused to eat. Her mama requested her to eat food. She ate a very little amount of food. While others were eating, she sat quietly in their car. Her brother came to her and kissed her cheek, told her. Tina dear, don't worry, don't get upset dear. It is only a wooden toy. The horse doesn't have a life, like us and it is just a lifeless thing. Don't be so sad for the broken leg. Even if the horse loses its tail, it won't be hurting the horse. Even if all four legs are broken, the wooden horse remains sane. Even if the horse loses its head, it won't be painful. I will buy a new wood horse for you. Tina replied, you think it doesn't matter, that a leg of my pet toy was broken. Her brother replied, yes dear. Tina replied, yes brother you are right. It won't be a major issue for you even. If the horse is broken into pieces at this age. But if you are in my age, if you had a pet like I had, you will feel how painful it would be to even if a small part of horse is broken. Her brother left silently. Just like Tina, everyone has different feelings of different aspects. What we considered of no importance will be a treasure of somebody.